First things first, guys. How are you? Very good. Very good. Yeah. Sort of uh, jazzing out right now backstage here in Nijmegen. Yeah. Not, not used to this sort of music being played backstage, especially not that slap bass. Thanks, mate. Eating sorbet. Well, uh, what I want to start with is uh, you took a hiatus uh, in 2013 and you, you went um, in separate ways for about five to six months. What did you do? Uh, we got a bit bored. I think um, there's a reason uh, we sort of chose this line of work. It's because we like to be on the road and touring and traveling and playing shows. So when we're not doing that, uh, it's a bit strange. It's, we kind of find it weird. It was nice to go home and recuperate. We all wrote independently, but sooner than we uh, expected, we sort of wanted to get back together again and, and start writing. So we started while the mind sort of really after about two or three months of being apart. Yeah, it wasn't six months as well, was it? No. It felt like a few weeks. Okay. We just needed the mental break. Why, why, why did you need it? Was it the constant touring before? Why what? Why did you need the, the mental break? Well, you just need, you need to, for a second, you need to know that you have the freedom to make decisions again. Yeah. And although we make all of our own decisions, we tend to plan very far in advance, because you have to. Like, we knew we were going to be sitting here today, six months ago and we you know you spend your life basically looking at a diary that plans so far in advance so the break was really an opportunity to just not put anything in the diary and then like Ted says we freaked out and <laughs> we, we called each other didn't like it. <laughs> yeah don't like it at all so we got together and, and made this record well, was there a period where um, you didn't want to do anything with music or did you continue writing and then uh, or was it just a complete break for a couple of weeks? It was a complete break for a minute, I think. Yeah, we didn't see each other really very much for a month or two. Because everyone wanted to travel, everyone was seeing their families. Like, Ben is in New York now, so it's like, yeah, everyone was doing separate things. And that's important, we needed to do that, it's valuable. But it also uh, heightened our desire to continue doing what we do together. Because, um, well, in the media, it was said that uh, you might be quitting. So was it ever, uh, or splitting up, was it ever uh, a genuine possibility of splitting up? I don't think that. No, never. We never, we never uh, intend to split up. It's not. It feels like a marriage now. It felt like a marriage pretty early on. We, uh, I think partly because we were friends for a long time, so we'd kind of been dating as, a, as four guys for a long time and then we were like let's go and be in a band together and then that was kind of a sense of permanency uh, yeah we we'll, we enjoy it all too much to stop doing it because you said you were uh, quite surprised how quickly you missed uh, playing with each other and so what was the first step of, of getting everything back together we started with emails and we, we were all sort of like I know we said it would be a bit longer before we got back together but how would people feel about doing something in a couple of weeks' time? And so we worked out it would be easiest for everyone if we met in London, despite everyone being all over the place. So um, I've got a small studio near where I live in London, and everyone just came there. And we basically uh, played with synthesizers for like five days. We just got like Moogs and Junos and stuff, and started writing and just just doing something completely different. And this process continued basically like between New York with Erin Desna and London with Erin Desna um, for a while and Erin sort of encouraged us to maybe not use the synth so much and so did James Ford. <laughs> they both encouraged us to not use the synth so much. Um, work it out with real instruments. Which why, is, why not? Why did he say not use the Because I don't think it's our area of expertise yet. You know, like there are a lot of people who use those instruments to great effect but um, it's not really what we know about. I mean, it's something we're interested in, we're learning about, but um, just to go and come out with like a, a synthy record would have been a bad idea. But, but the intent, in, in a way, is there then? The intent behind it was simply to make music purely again, like, because we've been just on the road and we've been working hard and touring and, and releasing, you know, two records and supporting them with all that we have. And what we needed was to just have fun and the whole like purpose of making music should be enjoyment and uh, expression and this like you know this is what we love about 
playing with each other. It's just like it's free and it's open. Anything goes. You can try anything you want. So that's what that was about. We just wanted to like just move a bit, you know, grow a bit. Was that something that was disappearing by the end of uh, touring uh, Babel? Something that was disappearing. Yeah, that, that 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 sense of joy or sense of freedom. No, the the, the, the thing about touring is, um, well, certainly how things have been is that we've not allowed enough time to create and to write. Which is why we have the noisy room here. Yeah, this is now the creation room. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Album and four. sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes good things come out of it. Yeah. Um, but it's really somewhere that you can kind of go to. You know, fundamentally, we all got into this to make music. And we love playing gigs and we love touring. But after about six years, you know, we found that we weren't spending enough time just writing together. So um, we decided to do that for a bit. It's not very complicated. It wasn't born out of massive frustration. It was more like if we're going to spend more time in the studio, we're going to spend less time on the road. So let's stop booking gigs and go and spend some time.